Welcome to the tour video for QB3, the latest building from the Q project at the University of Hertfordshire. My name is Dr. Mike Page and I designed this building alongside its predecessors, QB1 and QB2. Uh, QB1 came to the Edinburgh Science Festival in April 2011 and was 3 by 3 by 3 metres on the inside and that was a, very much a test building. We extended it to QB2 which was a production model of that building and that was 3 by 4 by 3 metres so that was 36 cubic metres on the inside. This building QB3 is more suitable for people perhaps with movement difficulties, it's all on one level and it is the same volume approximately. It is six meters by three meters by two meters on the inside. And those 18 square meters of floor area are designed to be used in a very space efficient and therefore energy efficient way. So I'm gonna give you a little tour and show you how all that works. Uh, so let's go inside QB3 now. So here we are inside QB3, and as I said before, it's 36 cubic meters of volume, but we've tried to use those 36 cubic meters in an innovative way, and that way is probably best illustrated if I go to this end of the building and show you the bathroom. So here we have a sliding door, nothing particularly innovative about that perhaps. Behind that sliding door, we have a wash basin and a toilet, but the important feature of QB3 that makes it so space efficient and therefore energy efficient is that we can unlock this wall here with the kitchen on it and we can move it about 60 centimeters in that dimension and we can lock it there in that position and then we've got access to a shower and a washing machine in the bathroom. So come on in and I'll show you that. We've got a washing machine, we've got a full size shower, we've got the toilet and the wash basin and then we can slide this sliding door for any position of the wall to get privacy in the bathroom at this end of QB3. So that's the bathroom in QB3, but because you're only using the shower for maybe for half an hour, an hour a day, we can now close that off like that and then move the wall back into position to save on that space for the other 23 and a half hours of the day. So that space that was in the bathroom is now put back into the kitchen. Now we're in the kitchen and we've got a full size fully functional kitchen. We've got an induction hob here which doesn't get hot itself but just makes the pan hot. Plenty of work surface, a sink, everything you'd expect in a modern functional kitchen. So here we are in the lounge area, and this is also flexible in the way that it can be laid out. So first things first, you just sit down here and read your uh, appropriate reading letter in the lovely Edinburgh light. Small is Beautiful by E.F. Schumacher perhaps, or the Modernist magazine. And so that's just for uh, casual sitting around. But if you want to be more casual still, you can adapt this seating by lifting that up, turning it round in that direction and then that flips over and it turns into a lounge chair and there's space for a second lounge chair alongside it so you can put your feet up and watch TV and you're right next to the fridge should you need any refreshment while you're doing that. More flexibility still, if you want to have a meal or you want to work at a table then you can just swing this table out here the leg deploys automatically, you can swing it out to there, and then you've got a four-seater table. That other leaner unit can come out here and form a bench seat so you can have four people for dinner, or you can be working at the table. And although that leg has just deployed itself, it's actually strong enough for me to stand on the table like that. And then when you've finished, you don't need to clear away your laptop or your papers from the table, but you can just move that table back to there, and the leg folds up automatically and you can deploy the table away. And then when you want to go to bed, well, you just pull the same trick again. So when we want to retire to bed, we can move this wall again. By the way, this uh, moving mechanism is from our friends at Brunzeal and is used more traditionally in library storage. And we can 
can then just move that wall to there, and then we have a full-size double bed in a decent-sized bedroom. The what was the coffee table has now become the bedside table, and we've got plenty of uh, storage space. We've got hanging space for jackets and, and uh, other storage space for clothes and things. There's storage space under the bed as well, storage space under the coffee table, and there's more storage space in the corner of the building where the camera is located for full-length hanging and other shelving. Uh, so yes, a full-size bed with a, a big picture window view over Princes Street, where we are in Edinburgh at the moment, um, but more typically a view of your choosing. As with all the Q project buildings, everything in QB3 is optimised for its energy efficiency. All the windows and doors are triple glazed passive house standard windows and doors uh, from a company called Nordan. And in the lighting that we have in QB3 is all LED lighting, and that's a very efficient form of lighting. Also, the TV is also an LED TV. There's an air source heat pump, and that provides all the heating for the cube. And at the other end of the building, there is an Ariston Nuos unit, which is an air source heat pump, which is integrated within a 200-litre hot water tank. So we have two air source heat pumps in QB3, and air source heat pumps are an extremely efficient way of turning electricity into hot water and heat. So if you want to come back, we'll reclaim this piece of uh, territory for the lounge, and go back into the lounge to summarise and give you a couple of more of the energy efficiency features of QB3. So now we're back in the lounge area, we've reclaimed the space from the bedroom. And just to summarise a couple of the extra energy saving features, we have an A++ rated fridge in QB3, we have an A++ rated washing machine. We also have heat recovery ventilation, so we uh, recover some of the heat that goes out when you ventilate the bathroom and it pre-warms the incoming air from outside. So everything in QB3 is optimised for energy efficiency to such an extent that were we to put uh, solar panels on the roof, which is also an option, we'd pretty much generate as much energy from those solar panels over the course of a typical year as one or two people would use uh, in living in QB3. So in that respect at least, QB3 is approximately energy neutral over the year. So that's it. That's uh, the summary tour of QB3 here at the Edinburgh Science Festival. QB3 uh, was designed by me, Dr. Mike Page, from the University of Hertfordshire. And if you want to see any more information about it, go to www.qproject.org.uk where we'll have all the latest information. QB3 is available now for purchase from our building partners, Bolton Buildings, and there'll be more information on the website. Thank you.